This is a first edition of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I'm Pom Harrington and I'm the owner of Peter Harrington Books. So here we have the true first edition of Pride and Prejudice. It was published in 1813. I shall show you the title page here. The book was issued in three volumes. Um, this was common practice at the time for the lending libraries um, who basically could rent out three books um, for the price of one as it were. Um, so three people could read the same book. Because of this reason, actually, the, the books were heavily read and deteriorated um, quite quickly, and particularly this title. It's such a popular title that to find copies in nice condition is very hard. And I'll show you now why this is a nice copy. Um, I'll turn you back to the, the half title here. The half title was basically done um, to protect the title page when the book was being bound. It suffered damage um, sometimes, and these were often removed by the binders. And to have copies with half titles in all three volumes is actually quite unusual. The other thing, unusual thing about this copy is the size of it. Um, the binder would traditionally would trim the book down um, to do edges gilt, and they would trim it down to the lowest, sort of the smallest page, as it were. And sometimes this meant the book could get rather small. Because the way the books are folded in production, you end up with some leaves shorter than others. And that's a good example of it. And so they really, they would have just trimmed down to the bottom edge this and makes the whole book much shorter. The reality is we like tall copies. We like good margins. And certainly collectors do. Um, flicking through the book, you can see it's nice and clean as well. The binding in this particular copy is um, sort of a contemporary binding, but it's been re-back re some point towards the um, late 19th century, but actually makes very, very pretty. So I'll just turn that around, you can see that. Pride and Prejudice is Jane Austen's second novel and undoubtedly her most successful. Um, it is arguably one of the most, most read novels of the English language. And for this reason, it is collected worldwide it's not known exactly how many copies of this book were printed, but some in the region of about 750 copies, um, given the readership rate and how popular it was. And it was collected in, in, actually within a decade or two of the book coming out. It, to get nice copies in, in the three volumes with the half titles, with the edges untrimmed, it really is very, very unusual. And I think this would fit into most top class literature collections. For information on this book and other books by Jane Austen, please look at the Peter Harrington website.